Hello, in this lecture, we're going to continue talking about the logic of individual choice, the foundation of supply and demand, chapter 19. Remember that our objectives are to discuss the principle of diminishing marginal utility and the principle of rational choice, explain the relationship between marginal utility price when a consumer is maximizing, maximizing total utility, summarize how the principle of rational choice accounts for the laws of demand and supply, name three assumptions of the theory of choice, and discuss why they may not reflect reality. All right, so we've talked about what utility is, and we've graphed utility. We're going to talk about some definitions at this point. So the principle of diminishing marginal utility states that after some point, the marginal utility received from each additional unit of a good decreases with each additional unit consumed. So that sounds complicated, but intuitively it makes sense in that when we think about consuming uh, more pieces of pizza, and in the example that we looked at before, each piece of pizza that we consume, the marginal utility of the next piece will generally go down, meaning however we measure utility, however much pleasure or happiness we get from eating the pizza, uh, the next piece of pizza will probably give us less than the prior piece. And that means that the margin, the choice on the margin, we could have more total pleasure from getting the next piece of pizza. However, it will be less generally than the last piece. So that means that the marginal utility will go down. So as additional units are consumed, marginal utility decreases, but total utility continues to increase. So all we're saying there, utility, remember, that's the pleasure we are getting. So we know that as we get another piece of pizza, generally the idea is that the total utility is going to go up. We're still benefiting from it. We're still receiving pleasure from it. However, it's going to go up at a decreasing rate, meaning the next piece of pizza is not going to give us as much pleasure as the last piece of pizza. So, and remember, we always make choices at the margin. So whenever we're thinking about, you know, how many pizzas are we going to make, are we going to eat? We usually don't think... Uh, all at once, we're just thinking of it at the margin. We're thinking, should I eat that next slice? Should I do that next thing? All right, so uh, when total utility is at a maximum, marginal utility equals zero, meaning that when we get to that point where uh, the next piece of pizza gives us no more utility, gives us no more happiness, gives us no more satisfaction, that means that marginal utility uh, is now zero. That means that the next piece of pizza uh, is going to give us no more benefit. That means that at, on the margin, we are indifferent on the next piece of pizza to have it or not. So beyond that point, total utility decreases and marginal utility is negative. So if we do, if we forced that next piece of pizza down our throat or we bought it accidentally and we didn't really didn't want it or something, then the that would actually decrease our utility. That would at some point make us worse off. So now we're actually worse off and it's decreasing our total utility. And that would mean that the marginal utility, the, the benefit, the amount of happiness we're getting on the margin, is actually going down. So rational choice and marginal utility. Rational individuals want as much satisfaction as uh, they can get from available resources. That's the assumption we're making. And again, we're, we're basically assuming that people are already doing that. People are making choices because they're rational, and therefore what they are spending their money on means that they are spending their money in such a way that they're maximizing uh, their satisfaction. They're maximizing their utilities. So any choice that does not give you as many units of utility as possible for some amount of money is an irrational choice. So clearly if we buy something and the cost of it is more than the pleasure we're getting from it, the utilities, then we made an irrational choice. And again, we're assuming that if people bought something, however they think of utilities in their head, because uh, we don't know exactly how to measure it, they because it's different for individual individual but if they're purchasing it we're assuming that the logic in their head said you know this is this is worth the purchasing of it the benefit i'm getting from it is more than the cost of it and i just want to point out again that the, the utility is not we don't think of it in units in our head of it we're not thinking we get 24 utility units and i don't know what utility units is but i get 24 utility units and that's more than the cost we don't usually break it down just in that way but we do make that logical choice in our head we say is it worth it for us to do it on the margin and if it is then we're, we'll buy it so according to the basic principle of rational choice people spend their money on those goods that give them the most marginal utility per dollar so now if we bring in the cost the dollar uh, into the equation here what types of things are people going to buy what are they going to spend their money on 
They're going to buy what gives them the most marginal utility, the next decision they make on the margin per dollar. So uh, rational choice and marginal utility, the principle of rational choice states that people spend their money on those goods, uh, give them the most marginal utility per dollar. So we stated that last time. We're now going to put this out into an equation using these terms. So we have uh, consume another unit of X if, and we're assuming we have basically two units. So we're trying to decide what we're going to spend our money on mathematically. If we have two things that we could spend our money on, in this case, X and Y, then it's, we're going to say, well, how much marginal utility are we going to get from X per dollar? If that is greater than how much we're going to get uh, marginal utility of Y per dollar, then we're going to purchase X with our money. So if we're deciding between two items to purchase, we're going to purchase the one that gives us the greatest marginal utility per dollar. Uh, if, on the other hand, of course, Y, if the marginal utility of, of the good Y is greater than the marginal utility of um, marginal utility per dollar, is greater than the marginal utility per dollar of X, then, of course, we would purchase Y. So the utility maximizing rule states that when, that when the ratios of the marginal utility to price of the two goods are equal, you are maximizing utility. So when we, when we continue to do this process, we'll continue to buy X and Y. Once X, the marginal utility of buying another unit of X and the marginal utility of buying another unit of Y are equal, that means we have maximized, we're at our maximizing point at that time. So if we, if we thought about this in terms of just two units, two types of things that we can purchase, we have Big Macs here and we have ice cream and we're going to make our decision. Do we want, you know, how much are we going to purchase in Big Macs and ice cream? Those are the only two things we can do. And we have our uh, quantity. Uh, we've got a total utility. We got our marginal utility and we have our marginal utility per dollar. So where are we looking here? We're looking at the marginal utility per dollar. So, so note if we bought, we have zero, zero, these, this 20 and the 10 should actually be kind of in the middle here. So they're kind of high up on this graph. But then of course, if we went to one, then the total utility goes up to 20. And that means the marginal utility, meaning 20 minus zero is 20. And then the marginal utility per dollar, because they're $2 is 10, that 20 divided by the $2. Over here, if we did the same thing, we go on uh, zero, zero. Again, this should be in the middle here. So we have one quantity, and that's going to give us a total utility of 29. Zero, or 29 minus zero is, of course, 29. And those cost us $1. Therefore, uh, we're going to divide that by one, and we get the 29. So then if we moved to one Big Mac, we get one, uh, I'm sorry, one Big Mac. We did that. We go to two Big Macs. We're going to go up to 34. 34 minus 20 is 14, and then if we take that 14, that's the marginal utility, but the cost is $2 divided by 2 is the 7. If we go to two ice creams here, we've got 2. That's going to give us a total utility of 46, and if we take the 46 minus the 29, we've got a marginal utility of 17. They only cost us $1, so we're going to divide by 1, and we get 17. So what are we going to purchase, or what order are we going to purchase in? Well, first, we're going to say that we're going to purchase the ice cream because we're looking at the marginal utility per dollar and we get 29 here <laughs> so that's the first thing we're going to do and then of course if we look at the second thing we're comparing now the marginal utility of of our second ice cream notice this, again this is the second ice cream because we're going from here to here here to here and so that would be 17 as compared to buying one big mac which we only get 10 per dollar of marginal utilities and then then of course on the next choice uh, we would buy the 10 over the 7 because, and then we're, now we're even. Now we, after that, we'd have 7 and 7. That's basically our point of maximization. So if we extended that, if we thought about that, extending that model, then extended the principle of rational choice, utility is maximized. If we have three uh, products where the marginal utility of X over the price equals the marginal utility of Y over the price equals the marginal utility of Z, and so forth. That's how we can make our rational decision making or at least model how people uh, make decisions. And so, okay, so the cost of per additional unit of utility is equal for all goods and the consumer is as well off as is possible. So that's when, when this point is reached, we can think that the consumer is as well off as possible given the resources that they have.